Hey guys, Nick, Justin, Justin, Hybrid Physiques here. We want to cover something that I'm sure every motherfucker has done before. The second we start lifting a weight or the second we start going to the gym, what's the first thing we think of? I need supplements! I need some sauce! Protein! Power bars! Creatine! I fucking take ha whole container of creatine when I was younger. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Especially if you're just getting into the whole fitness thing now. You're gonna post one status on Facebook about oh <laughs> killed it at the gym. Boom, your news feed is flooded with supplement advertisements. And guess what? Your second status is, oh my god, I just took some creatine monohydrate. I'm 20 20 percent stronger. Instantly! I'm huge. I'm huge. Just like, I don't know if you guys seen that video of the Asian dude. He's sitting in the mirror. I'm, what does he say? I'm, oh my god, oh my god. I'm so massive. <laughs> this body here, at least a hundred girls. A hundred girls on the beach. That will be you after your first week or day in the gym. So, what we're going to convey to you is how to properly shop for supplements. Where to buy your supplements. We're not going to necessarily go into what to get yet, however, the best way to purchase, the best pricing, um, the, the best perks you get, whether you get a free item at the end of the purchase, whatever it may be. So, yeah, you're gonna, your first reaction, you walk into that GNC, you see everything there, some guy's gonna come it's up like, to it's you. It's like a kid in a candy store. Ooh! This, boom, boom, boom! Some overweight person who works at GNC who is not in shape at all, but he swears he's swole. He's, whew, he's got two suitcases, he's walking around, hey. You guys need some subs? He's gonna you walk, guys need some subs? He's gonna walk up to you. He's gonna sell you, sell to you what, not what you need. The product that's commissionable. But what him. he's making commission. So on. just so you guys know, some items, and I don't know if it's still this way, it used to be this way. I don't know if it still is. Some companies will send give a perk out to that person who sells their product. So if I buy Hybrid Physiques brand protein, what would happen is I would go to the distributor, aka GNC, and say, okay, every sales rep that sells $100 worth of Hybrid Physiques supplements, they get a $5 or $10 spiff. Now, that may not sound like a lot, but however, if every single person walks into that store and you sell them a Hybrid Physiques formula, they're getting paid on it. Now, I understand <clears throat> this is a business. People have to make money. I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to pull profits from those employees. What I'm just trying to do is educate yourselves, the viewers, on what really goes on behind the scenes. So I'm going to use this as an example. And once again, I don't know if it's still this way. However, BSN products would never give a perk and or a commissionable rate to their employees. So when I was in high school, this is 2006, 2000, even right, right after in college, 2007, I remember walking in. And I was like, I need me, uh, what's the name of that product there? Cell, cell mass. I need some cell mass. Now, and I couldn't understand why this, this guy was saying it's such a bad product. I heard so many good things about it. And once again, I was uneducated at this time. I couldn't get it. So I ended up walking out with a different product. When I went to the gym that day, my buddy who was a supervisor or manager, whatever it may be, at the store, said, oh, man, that's because... That's because we don't receive any, any spiffs on that product. They don't give commission to people who are purchasing off of BSN products. So you need to do your own research and do your homework on the, on the product you're going to purchase. You can't trust the guy behind the counter because 90% of the time, they're not going to be honest. And that's, I get it. Yeah. We get it. it it's a business. People they're have to make, to make money. money. People have to make money. So it, it's, it's not them being you know, a, a jerk about it. I'm sure they're selling you a good product. But it's just not maybe necessarily not what, you, yeah. what you need. It's not what you need or wanted. And then along to go with the price, not only they're going to push something that you may not need off onto you, but their prices are going to be higher. You have to remember, mm -hmm. GNC is a publicly traded company. So the main goal of all these managers and supervisors is to maximize shareholder wealth. Profitability. So this is going to come, come with increasing prices, then not only that, but they have locations everywhere, so they have to pay for their building. They got to pay massive they, amounts overhead. of employees. They've overhead, electricity, the the whole nine, air conditioning, heating, everything. So this is why where it comes in, shop around online. Two great sources that we've been using for years. Give it to them. DPS Give it to them. Nutrition and Bodybuilding.com. Did, did you say DTS? DPS. DPS. David Paul Scott 
Nutrition, DPS, and bodybuilding.com. Bodybuilding.com. Why do we use those sites as well? What do they, they give you? Not only, it's just about every time it's next free next day shipping, and you purchase so much, say you place a $75 order, they'll throw in a th free t-shirt, free shaker bottle. Phone case. You get a bunch case. of boxes. Funnels. Uh, you'll get free samples of other products that you could try out. Mm -hmm. And I found bodybuilding.com gives more of the... Like samples, yes. and like the extra goodies, but I find that DPS maybe five percent less. Yeah. Well, I'll open up two browser windows. So say I'm gonna pick this supplement. I'll check both websites to see who has it cheaper. And then not only that, but when it comes to stuff like pre-workout, since I I like to switch it every month because it, it starts to uh, not work as well for me. I would go on the website and just see what's on sale and pick whatever pre-workout is cheaper. You know who else is good? is TigerFitness.com. They have pretty good pricing as well. Um, and they have a full product line as well. So that's, that's another one. I'm going to say Tiger Fitness is probably, it's one of my favorites because I support what Mark Lobliner does and because himself he's very out and open. He answers questions just like we do. So I like to support that type of environment and that type of uh, that business. Price point as well, they're phenomenal price point. Just an example of the price difference. I used to go on DPS Nutrition and the big five pound tubs of Synthesis Six protein, I would get two of them from DPS for $88. I walked into a GNC one day, one of them was $80. This yeah, day. but you get a gold card. Yeah, you, you get, get a gold card. Yeah. <laughs> you get a gold card, so after they're done raping you in the store, next time you're entitled to more lube when they do it. <laughs> you get a gold card. So, check out DPS, check out bodybuilding.com, check out tigerfitness.com. As well, I like to also go into supplement reviews um, yeah. because there's usually a, a star, yeah. a rating, a rating all, guy. All these websites too. As you look at the product, there's customer re re reviews right underneath it. And granted, that you can't necessarily trust a customer review. For example, Justin and I take different supplements. He could take a pre-workout. I could take the same pre-workout. It doesn't work for me as well as it works for him. One of us is more sensitive to stimulants, and one of us is not. So you're like you like beta alanine, right? That yeah. really gets you going. I don't I don't care for beta alanine. It doesn't I'd rather have more caffeine than beta. I like the beta. It gets me all itchy. Yeah, see I don't like that. So it all really all depends what you are looking for. If this is your first time purchasing supplements or getting into it, I would probably say buy a bunch of the, the they have a bunch of like uh, the small sample packs, right? For yes. Like, like $5 or something, you get like, uh, you know, 10 servings. Body buy a bunch of those. Bodybuilding.com, they, they tend to offer a bigger variety of sizes, so you could literally buy for 99 cents a, a, a one-time use of a pre-workout. Yeah. So just go on there, purchase a bunch of them, see what you like. But once again, something like pre-workout, if you're like me, you're going to have to constantly change it. That's why I just go on the website mm -hmm. and look for whatever one is cheaper. I get usually like two or three at a time. Yeah. Because I, I'll, my body will acclimate to that product and the ingredients. Um, just like anything else in life, we'll use smoking as an example. Something someone smokes, they start with five cigarettes a day, then they go to ten cigarettes a day, then fifteen. They need to keep upping the dose. It's the same thing with a pre-workout. So you can't continue to up a dose of stimulant without potentially causing the body damage. Now we're talking- Your heart might explode. We're talking like, oh, well, that's a lot. That's like a lot of, that's a lot. But that happens. So I'll go like one week using one product. I'll go the week two using a different product. And then vice versa. And then uh, th this method, the same thing could be used for purchasing protein. My protein is different every time I order it because I just go on there. It could get expensive. So I look for a really low carb protein, low in calories, little to no sugar, low fat, whatever one's cheaper. I walked up, I got a 10 pound tub of protein for 60 bucks and it works phenomenal. Mm. So the, the idea is shop around, go online, you have a better variety. If you walk into a store and talk to someone, they're going to try and sell you something that they personally are going to be making money off of. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And not to get off topic, however, protein powders, guys, try and stick to just post-workout. Yes. Just post workout. Because <laughs> we used workout. to be those guys, and this is this falls in the category of the whole shopping for supplements because what would happen is I'd go through so much protein powder, I'd constantly be on these websites or constantly be buying more. I'd run, get into a pinch, I'd run to GNC, get raped over the pricing, and walk out and go through this protein. When we started cutting out protein shakes, I noticed eating more whole foods, I gained definitely better results as far as lean muscle and my fat, my fat went down. Yes. 
So the whole food. So now in the morning, instead of a protein shake, I do the raw eggs. I'll take the pasteurized eggs in a carton. Boom. Justin has a video of it, uh, um, an earlier video on his breakfast. The raw eggs, boom. I'll do about a cup and three quarters of raw eggs. I'll get the same content of protein via food so whole food whole food source than a protein shake. Protein shake, we we only use it literally right after a workout. Take your protein shake. Now, like say you're in a pinch, you don't have food, but you do have to get that meal in, then yes, throw in a protein shake just so you're getting those nutrients. Yeah, yeah. But generally, we do that. A 10-pound uh, thing of protein lasts me six or seven months. I'm at the point with shopping online where I take BCAAs, glutamine, creatine, protein, all this stuff. I spend about $300, but I only have to do it once every seven months. Yeah, it'll, yeah, it lasts you. Definitely. So... If you have any questions, drop them below. Put them right down in the comment section below. Hit the little thumbs up. Yeah, give us a like. Thumbs Cut up. Us out. And uh, eat your veggies. Eat, what's what's he doing now? Why is he running? Oh Jesus! Oh, subscribe. Hybrid physiques. Out, dude. Did you do your physique pose? Yeah. All right. Hybrid physique's out. Peace, guys.